pet owners in Forsyth, beware. Two rabies cases were reported in the last few weeks, and authorities want you to protect yourselves and your precious animals. I spoke with some neighbors who had no idea about the incident, and they say they're going to keep a tighter leash on their pets. Laura Niblett walks her two dogs whenever she can. When we pulled up, she was getting ready to do just that. Laura lives on Bentley Drive, where the Department of Natural Resources caught a rabid fox. She says she's doing the only thing she knows how to protect her dogs from the virus. Well, we have house dogs, and I walk them on a leash so that we can keep them safe. Wild animals are actually a normal sight in the area. The fox came into contact with a few dogs. We see deer, we see fox, we see a lot of things come around here. But I, I love my dogs, so I want to keep them safe. And there is a leash law in Monroe County, so I walk my dogs on leash. Neighbors who live on Bentley Drive say they didn't even know about the rabies incident and say now they're going to keep a closer eye on their animals. Having your dog or your pet um, rabies vaccinated is the most important thing to keep rabies from spreading into humans. Becky Merritt with the Monroe County Animal Control says local health departments are urging pet owners to take necessary steps to stay safe. Health departments in every county offer rabies clinics at least twice a year uh, where they go out into the community and offer rabies vaccines for anywhere from nine to fourteen dollars depending on which, um, which series you get. She says signs of animals infected with rabies can be obvious. They would foam at the mouth, uh, act very strange, um, very standoffish. They'd become more and more aggressive. Um, they would growl and snap at you anytime you come close to them. If you're ever bitten by an animal, Merritt says get to the doctor as soon as possible. And here's an interesting note. Animal control actually doesn't handle wild animals like raccoons, foxes, and possums. Merritt says to contact professional wildlife trappers if the animals are causing a problem.